Hello, this is Rock Fallen, and welcome to Factorio. I realize that my channel looks mostly like it's going to be Minecraft, but you got to do what you love, and uh, if Factorio is currently what I'm loving, that's what I'm going to do. So, without further ado, um, I wanted to demonstrate uh, a little addition that I made to a design originally posted by Gepwin. Um, I will put a link in the description for that tutorial. Uh, he made a visual graph which will display the belt throughput. Uh, which you'll see up here in a moment. I'm not going to go through how to set this up because he does a better job than I would, um, but basically it reads the belt contents right here and it outputs a graph that updates every second as to how much throughput is on the belt. So there were a couple of comments on that video that I uh, added into my design here as well as a couple of tweaks of my own. Uh, first of all, there was a comment from Lesrith uh, who mentioned that you should add a now the row of lights that are showing up in red for when the belt is empty, which you can see our belt is, and the lights show up red when the belt is empty, so that you can very easily visually see how much has been coming through when the belt is empty in the last, you know, 30 seconds or so. Um, there was also a comment from Tomas, who recommended that we use a less than symbol when setting up our lights rather than equal so that it would make a bar graph rather than a scatter plot, which I can demonstrate right now by adding some iron to this belt. And you'll see that it goes up uh, as a bar rather than as dots, which I think makes it a little bit more visually appealing. And uh, as it gets further up, you'll notice it starts to change color. It goes from red to yellow, and then when it gets high enough, it should turn green as well. Um, and that's just something that I added because I like to color coordinate things. Um, and I really just added on a couple little pieces, so I'll explain that really quickly. Uh, we take this red line that was in Geplin's design coming down to light up the lights, and we continue that red line down to these three combinators, which tell it to uh, output a color based on that value. So you'll see this one on the end is set up so that if the value is greater than 6, it puts out green. So, you know, 6 to 10 will be green. Anything less than 7 will be yellow. So 7 and under, will, or 6 and under, excuse me, will be yellow. And then 4 and under will be red. And so as the value of the throughput on the belt changes, the color will also change along with the height of the column on the graph. So... I hope you guys appreciate this. Uh, Gepwin, thank you for your tutorials. I love them very much. And uh, I will see you guys again soon.